Hello again, uh, episode 15, 16 of my BMW E91 conversion project. Um, it's taken longer than I planned, but um, I still haven't finished the battery box. But yeah, let's have a look at what I've been doing. Let's get some welds done on the beefed up um, front mount. Um, not looking too bad, I don't think. Um, plug welded the hole there, same at that side. Welded that, welded along there, along there. <coughs> plug also weld along there. Let's weld it in there. And under there. We'll cap off the ends. And that should be strong, really quite strong, hopefully. I'm thermal cut out again, so uh, this is the front. I think the welds are getting better. I think so, anyway. Hopefully, strong enough. There we go with the good enough garage certified inverter mounting kit. Oh, not really. It's just temporarily holding it in place while I work on this. So it's bolted into these two original holes there. I'm going to triangulate across there for the front and then work out the back. And then hopefully the inverter, uh, the charger is going to fit, just fit there. And there we are. Not finished yet, but it's holding it up. Need to connect that side. And then the battery box very snugly fits in there. There we are, I've added the, uh, added the brace for that, it's pretty solid, still need to do a rear mount, but yeah, perfect fit. Battery box is going to live there, still not mounted yet. Hopefully get the compressor on there. Let's get that. Compressor. Compressor there somewhere, maybe. We fit the charger there. Don't forget the junction box down there or something. I think pretty full. It's the uh, rear inverter mount. It's not going anywhere that. And the front one's a bit flimsier. Might put another bit of metal down to that just to give it a bit more strength, but we will see. So, yeah, try and work out the battery next. So for the front battery, I've welded these two fall boys together. Let's sit there. And then somehow clamp them to the subframe. And then the battery box is going to sit on top. <coughs> so we're underneath, and that's the Thing that's gonna somehow clamp onto there and then attach to a cross beam on the uh, battery box. Get the, other. the rear mount, this is gonna weld all the way across the battery box and uh, 
bolt in through all them holes. And then the front is going to clamp to to there. So that's with nutted in with six bolts, and that's going to be welded to the bottom of the back of the battery back of the battery box. Uh, yeah. I need to just work out how to clamp to this for the front. That's it. Oh, yeah. Just on the floor. Yeah, so not a lot of progress. Um, so I've redone. Oh, working. I've redone the mounting for the drive the transmission, and started mounting up the rear of the battery pack. I need to work out the front battery mounting. Um, I think I'm going to clamp. I've seen that clamp that piece that goes across to the uh, subframe, and I think that should should be okay. Got the inverter mounted in its final resting place. Um, still need to mount the charger. Yeah, so yeah, I've not made a lot of progress. Um, went away last weekend in the Beetle. So I did, I did I can't, close to 200 miles. So rapid charge for five minutes on the way there. Uh, then destination charge while I was there. And then again, coming back, rapid charge for five, 10 minutes. And then home and all worked out perfectly fine and then i it was mother's day so i called around at my mother's and she's got a steep a steep drive i was trying to get up there backwards in the beetle and it was sort of juddering and struggling but i just kept my foot down anyway and the car was at a stop and then bang um a little pop more accurately a little pop inverter cut out and it wouldn't restart so I'll burn another inverter. Uh, so yeah, I had to uh, get, let go of the handbrake and roll it off the drive so they could get the other car that was behind me off it and then get a lift home. And uh, thanks to Rob, who brought me uh, an inverter the next day to borrow, got that swapped over outside on the main road and drove home. And it's been working, been working on Rob's inverter since. So. That the beetle lives on so um yeah that's it for now i'm hoping i get this battery finished soon because it's excuse me it's doing my head in. <laughs> uh yep uh, i was also on charged heads last week i'll link that in the description so uh check that out as well uh but yeah like comment and subscribe and i will see you next time